Oh boy, you, you know David Ajabo. He has been a hot topic uh, for Baltimore Ravens fans for a long time, especially uh, over these past couple of weeks. But really, ever since he got drafted, he, he has been a very sensitive subject when it comes to conversation and dialect uh, amongst Ravens fans. Reason being because different Ravens fans saw David Ajabo in different ways. When he was drafted in the second round of this past draft, uh, so after tearing his Achilles at his pro day, there were a lot of Ravens fans that were excited. They were hyped. They were like, let's go. We got David Ajabo. Man, this guy could have been a possible top five, top ten pick, and we got him in the second round. Ooh, the future is bright. Imagine David Ajabo on one side and Adolphe away on the other wreaking havoc on quarterbacks. Let's get it. So they were hyped for the promise that David Ajabo showed. Then there were a lot of other fans that were like, oh, man, David Ajabo. Yeah, we know he's a good player and whatnot, but we, we're not going to get any impact from him right here, right now. So I, I don't really know if that was the smartest type of pick because it's a player that is essentially redshirting this year and you drafted him pretty high. So there was a, a lot of conversation, a lot of interesting conversation amongst Ravens fans all summer long. I'm sure plenty of y'all took part in it. I took part in it plenty of times myself. Y'all know how it goes. And, and then over these past couple of weeks, that conversation seems to have been heating up that much more. But now, finally, finally, David Ajabo will make his long-awaited debut. I know so many Ravens fans are hyped about this. I mean, all Ravens fans should be hyped about this one. And another reason, too, that you should be excited is because David Ajabo, his debut, it will come with really not much pressure on him. Because it would be one thing if these were the Ravens of the past, the Ravens that we're used to, the Ravens with no pass rush. But it's crazy to say, and it's fun to say, and we appreciate the fact that we can say it, the Ravens actually have a good pass rush. The Ravens actually have a productive pass rush. Like, I, I know y'all remember the days, I mean, last year was some of them days, but I know y'all remember all them days where, where the Ravens were the almost get sack team. The, the getting pressure team. They, oh boy, if they had a Pro Bowl full of pressures, Ravens would lead it every single year, lead the vote in every single year. But this year has been different. This year, these Baltimore Ravens have actually been producing sacks. And that has been such a beautiful thing to see. They have depth, they have quality depth on that defensive line. At linebacker, both inside and outside, they are generating pressure. You got Marlon Humphrey getting sacks. You got Kyle Hamilton. He's been a pass rusher before. To like, you're getting it so many different ways, and it's been beautiful to see. So it'd be different if the Ravens were bringing David Ajabo in, and it was like, oh, man, hopefully this guy can be the savior for our pass rush. Hopefully he can turn this thing around. But that's why there's less pressure on him, because he doesn't have to turn it around. He can come in and... Uh, who knows how many snaps he's going to get? He's been healthy for a while, but the, the Ravens have been extra, 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 extra cautious with him, which I ain't got no problem, especially because of how their pass rush has been. But the Ravens have been extra cautious with him, and now he gets to come into a situation where it's not all eyes on, well, it's going to be all eyes on him, but he gets to come into a situation where it's not all the pressure on him. But you know, let, let, let's read the report. Uh, it says, this came from uh, Jordan Schultz. He said, breaking, Ravens rookie outside linebacker David Ajabo will make his NFL debut Saturday versus the Browns, the source tells the score. Ajabo was an All-American at Michigan and a highly projected first round. Oh, <laughs> he put first found pick, but we know you meant first round pick. I know when I get excited to get the tweet and whatnot, I, I be misspelling stuff too. But anyway, he said, but he suffered a torn Achilles on his pro day. Great news. And it is great news. It is great news because it's time. It's time. And I, I had said it a lot when, as soon as they made that pick, uh, as soon as, uh, I mean, not even as soon as you found out how long an Achilles tail would take you out. Because usually that's the season ending injury. Usually that's a wrap. Somebody got a torn Achilles. Yeah, you're done. But um, I, I talked about how with David Ajabo, I felt like literally anything Anything, anything, anything that the Ravens got out of David Ajabo this season should be considered a bonus. 
They should not be relying on him. They should not be depending on him. They should not be counting on him. But anything that they will get out of him this season should be considered a bonus. Because, again, his pro day. What was his pro day in? What? Fe no, March, I think. And for him to play in a season that starts in September and goes to January. And hopefully February for the race. Hopefully. But it's just it's a lot to ask. Especially for a, a rookie coming in, playing a pro. Like, ah, uh, yeah, anything you get out of him is a bonus. And now they're getting ready to get that bonus. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully his debut, he can light the world on fire. I, I'm sure Adafi Away is happy. He probably like, man, D Ravens fans been on my head, man. Get them all, please. But, um, no, nah, it should be good, man. It should be good. And, and another thing, like, speaking of Adafi Away, it's funny that Ravens' pass rush this year overall, and this has had some shaky moments for sure, but overall Ravens' pass rush has been much better this year, and they ain't even got everybody going yet. Because we, like, we've been waiting for Adafi Away to just start going off more consistently, but it just ain't been happening yet. Tyus Bowser, seen, he, he been doing this thing. Justin Houston, of course, y'all remember all them games where he had them two sacks in every game and whatnot. He quieted down a bit recently, but you know he's still getting close and whatnot. So the defensive, like Broderick Washington, he been going off. Travis Jones, uh, he, been, he been doing this thing here and there. But the, the Ravens as a collective unit, they've been doing so much better in the pass rush department. So shout out to David Ajabo. It's going to be nice to see his debut tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Don't forget, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like David Ajabo is no longer saying when it comes to him being uh, in the game, I'm out. <laughs>